Of course, it's just finished at the Ahmed bin Ali Stadium in Doha, Qatar, and it's ended United States of America 1, Wales 1. And yeah, um, to be fair, it was quite an alright game of football, I would say, um, if I have to be honest. Um, it wasn't the best, um, it wasn't really the best game of football, if I really have to be honest. Um, ow! Um, yeah, anyway, I don't think it was really the best game of football. Um, but yeah, obviously, speaking of the game, obviously, America taking the lead um, from where and my free ball was played in. And obviously, just um, my free ball was played into him. Obviously, he took his time and obviously, he's scoring and putting the United States in front and putting pressure on Rob Page's side. But Wales, they did fight for. Well, they didn't really look that good in the first half, Wales, you know, and also at the start of the second half, they didn't look that good at all. They just didn't look good at all, and Wales, um, in two, obviously, they scored. But when, but Wales, they started to create chances, they improved a lot, they, they improved a bit, they um, had chances, a great chance from Ben Davis um, before Bale converted the penalty to make it 1-1, um, and there was a chance as well, um, I think it was from like, Harry Wilson or someone, I can't really remember, but in the 82nd minute, eight minutes to go until the end of the game, Gareth Bale gets chopped down in the box and the referee awards Wales a penalty. And of course, Bale steps up and scores and, and, and he writes himself in Wales history to, to be the first Wales player to score, to score a World Cup goal since 1958. And also Wales, it's their first World Cup point since 1958. And obviously in that tournament, Brazil, um, to give it away, Wales actually lost to Brazil in the um, quarterfinals of that tournament. And Pe I think it was 2-0 Brazil. I think Pele scored both goals that day. Um, but yeah, anyway, thoughts on the game. Like I said, I don't think Wales were that. Wales, they weren't really that good until, until they started creating chances. America... Um, they began to time waste a little bit, you know, they just wanted to get the win, but, but you know, um, actually near the end, um, it was, I don't know, Matt Turner, like, he was well off the side, Bell had a great chance to have a shot and maybe win Wales the game, but great challenge by Acosta, um, and I think he really had to do that, to be honest. Um, I think he really had to do that, to be honest, because that would have gone in, it would have been absolute heartbreak for America, but absolute delight for Wales. Would have been absolutely delightful Wales if Bell had any chance of uh, scoring that. If Bell had uh, any chance of scoring that, obviously, if he didn't get tackled by Acosta. But yeah, anyway, I think my my the match today. Um, I think two players did well today. I, I, I didn't really really pick out anyone for America. But I think two players did well today. I think Connor Roberts and Chris Meppham. For me, I'm going to give it to Chris Meppham. I think he did very well at the back today for Wales. You know, I think I think I think he had a solid game at the back. I think credit as well to Connor Roberts. I think them two had an outstanding game. Um, I think I think a Ben Davis to the right as well. Um, but for me, Chris Meppham for me because I, I just think he had a good game to be honest. And you know, I think Meppham had a good game at the back. You know, winning everything. You know getting the ball out and obviously getting the, the defenders and getting everyone out of the box. Um, but yeah, and even uh, when there was um, a bit of time left, you know, America were pushing, trying to get that goal and obviously Wales, they hold, they hold it, they hold it together. And, uh, and yeah, but anyway, um, anyway, um, stay, well, anyway, um, stay tuned um, to more World Cup content on the channel. Um, obviously, obviously Poland in action tomorrow. Obviously, there will be, you know, preview, vlog, and obviously reaction to the game. Obviously, there will be a full-time reaction as well um, tomorrow to uh, France against Australia. And, yeah, so there are two games before that. Um, obviously, Argentina, Saudi Arabia, and Denmark against Tunisia. Also, I can't do reactions to that game as they are on during school time. But, yeah, anyway, um, yeah, see you next time.